The long and winding legal journey of David and Colette Steffen took another twist today, this time in the highest court in the land. We would allow the appeal, quash the convictions and order a new trial. That 2016 conviction for failing to provide the necessaries of life stems from the death of the Stephen son, Ezekiel, in 2012. The 19-month-old died of complications from meningitis after his parents failed to take the toddler to a doctor until the little boy had stopped breathing. Instead, the couple treated their son with natural remedies like homemade smoothies. The prosecution argued that choice contributed to Ezekiel's death. Now, the jury agreed and the judge sentenced David Steffen to four months in jail and Colette Steffen to three months house arrest. The couple was also ordered to take their remaining children to a doctor once a year. Today, in Canada's Supreme Court, those decisions were overturned because the judge in the initial case didn't give clear instructions to the jury. A decision framed as a win by the Steffens. Uh, we feel very vindicated. We're extremely grateful. We're grateful because this is a move in the right direction. And we now have the opportunity to bring the whole truth forward and we're just so excited to, um, to have the, the, the ability to do that. However, this law professor says that just because the convictions were overturned doesn't mean the Steffens won't be convicted again. What happened here is the judge did not give the jury the tools they needed to render their decision both in fact and in law. For now, the Crown in Alberta will deliberate on whether to retry the Steffens. In the meantime, the couple, now living in B.C., will remain free. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary. So to be clear, the Supreme Court of Canada wasn't assessing the evidence in this case or the validity of the criminal charges. The justices decided the trial judge's instructions to the jury were improper. But as you heard, David Steffen considers this vindication. And even after he was convicted, he continued to promote his controversial approach to health care and alternative products. Over the past 120 years, we've seen such a radical change in our food and the quality of it that it actually put us in a position... In February, he was slated to speak at health and wellness expos in cities across the prairies, but organizers dropped him after sponsors and vendors threatened to pull out in protest. Stefan's company, True Hope, sells vitamin supplements marketed as helping improve mental health. In 2003 and 2007, Health Canada issued warnings about one product, Empower Plus. It said there was no evidence the product was safe to consume.